from Guaranteed Rate Field on the south side of Chicago. MLB The Show has action out of the AL Central. It's the Minnesota Twins going up against the Chicago White Sox. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. So almost ready to get underway and starting this one Eric Fetty and singing he likes pitching at home. Well truly for him there is no place like home. He's been so dominant here and as a teammate you expect him when pitching at home this year to go out and dominate just as he has. The fans expect it and I think everyone around here knows that he's a good pitcher even though we don't see the same splits on the road. We're going to start to see that translate as well. In the air out towards right center. Robert moves under it. Makes the catch and there's one gone. Now the lineup for the Twins as constructed by Rocco Baldelli. And Chris this group has been struggling to put up runs lately. Well they haven't been on base a ton and even when they are they haven't been hitting very well with the runners on base so they need a player or two to really step up have some quality at bats hit according to the situation and sort of break out of this. I think if they do the rest of this lineup will follow. Now Correa up to hit Sosa in plenty of time to first that takes care of Correa. Here's Trevor Larnick. Two out spaces empty. And that's, no, that's just foul. foul. Started Ice. after it. Appeal to third. And he won around. Not an easy call there, but that puts an end to the inning. Middle of the first. No score after a half inning. And we're back. And today's starting pitcher, Bailey Ober. Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club. And coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 on the year. It seems that they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone. So we'll see how right-handers do against him in this one. Here's the left fielder, Tommy Pham. The wind of the pitch. Hit in the air, center field. Margot settles under it. Makes the catch for the out. Time to check out the lineup for the White Sox. Not a whole lot going their way offensively the last few games, Chris. Yeah, Boog, and that can put more pressure on the pitching staff to try to limit the opponent to just one or two runs a game, knowing that their offense is not scoring right now. And that never really works well because you try to be too fine and you end up giving up a lot of runs. So we'll see if everybody can just relax, bring things together, and perform at a level that they're capable of. Boog, I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but... He did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for him out. One gone runner at first. Luis Robert steps to the plate for the White Sox. Nope. A little bit high. And it's two and one. So here in the three spot, Chris, a hitter, low average, but high slug. Well, one thing he's going to lean on are the metrics. His exit velocity has been really good. He's just had some bad luck hitting the ball right at people. Pitch three misses. One now point. three and one. Gavin Sheets waits on deck. Man at first, one away. On the ground, right side. Knocks it down. That leaves it without a throw, and the defense comes away that with nothing. The right fielder, Gavin. Gavin Sheets steps to the plate for the White Sox. There's a swing and a miss. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. 
Runners at first and second with one gone. On the ground to third. Farmer. Off balance feed. There's one. And that's two. Poetry in motion there as the second baseman turns the double play. Nice throw to first. And that's the way to end the inning. Set for the start of the inning. Now the cleanup hitter for Minnesota, Kyle Farmer. And a pitch. Fouls it off, still one and two. Swinging for the strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Well, one of the things that hitters will do is they'll look for that red dot on the baseball as it's coming in to let them know what the pitch is. And if they see the red dot, it's typically a slider. But when a guy's got a really tight one with high spin rates, very difficult to determine. And that's probably why we saw a swing and miss right there. Just a nasty pitch. Wouldn't chase that time. Larry Bullard making the calls behind the plate for us in this one. Pretty good strike zone. Well reviewed by those we talked to around the league. Yeah, he's an umpire. He doesn't get a lot of looks from players. Maybe here and there once in a while, but he's appreciated back there. And a swing to miss. What about some no-nos? Like, you can't call the umpire blue the way you do in Little League or high school, right? <laughs> yeah. Even in the minor leagues, you'll learn quickly. Uh, you call the umpire blue. You better learn his name. And uh, that's just part of being a professional player and even a major league player. In time to ball. And that quickly two away. Brooks Lee getting ready to hit. No score here in the second. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well, hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The 2-2 two -two on the way. Bounced out to short. Lopez tosses the first. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nothing doing here for the Twins. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And welcome back to the ballpark. Eloy Jimenez now. The designated hitter. All the mark there, two and one. Two and one the count now. He hasn't seen a fastball yet, but you've got to be ready to hit one because you doubt the pitcher wants this to go to a three one count. That That's one off three. the mark, three and one. Three balls, one strike. And there's a foul ball. And here's a 3 2. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. Kicks and deals. And yeah, there's ball nope. four. Ball four. Leading off for the White Sox. And the here's Sosa team. to the plate. Sosa. With the go-ahead run at first, bottom half of inning number two. Swung on, belted. 
That one carrying. And caught on the warning track. Well, off the bat, I thought for sure it had enough to that get out of here, but that wind's kind of blowing base. in from left, oh. and I think that's what made the difference. Now it's Paul DeYoung up to the plate. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. Ball. And that's off that's inside. the inside edge. Two balls and a strike. Ripped on a line. Makes the grab. Nicky Lopez up to the plate. This is a guy who's in the line of first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. That one fouled off two and two. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier position. And a swing and a miss. And that is that. No runs, no base hits, no errors, and a runner left. We play two full. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Top half of the Leading third inning. Twins. And now for the Twins, the right Matt Walmer. Matt Walmer. The hitting's going to come around. He's going to figure it out. But right now, his big asset is the way he plays the game on defense. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Batting eight. The center fielder of the 13. Manuel Margot up to the plate. Margot. The pitch. On the ground, right side, four. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. Safe, he's in. Uh, I think he just rushed that one. Great chance to turn two, and as an infielder on a play like that, I think guys can get a little excited and forget to make the play one step at a time. Could have been two outs. Instead, they get none. Christian Vasquez, the hitter. Strike two. One ball, two strikes. And That's another ball. ball. Way to lay off that pitch down. Go ahead, run at second. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Ground ball left side could be two. Sends it across oh. the first. And that is a big first out. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. It's not a knock, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat. This is Willie Castro. Go-ahead run is 90 feet away. This at bat could end up deciding the game when everything is said and done. Bounce to the left side. Lopez. To the plate. Save! Save. And it's 1-0. Two on, one out. Here's Carlos Correa. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in. To second, there's He's one. Out. And that's right. two. One run, one hit, one error, and one left. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Twins one and the White Sox nothing. Bottom of the inning. Now it's the White Sox catcher, Corey Lee. The captain, Corey Lee. Crushed. Left center field. This one's deep. Forget it. A gigantic blast. His ninth homer of the year, and we are tied. 
It's 1-1. That one just sounded different. And yeah, might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the booth. an excellent swing all the way around and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention got a pitch to drive short to the baseball squared it up and the backspin carried it out of here here's Tommy Pham swing and a miss as he was out front that time Bows that off to the left and we'll do it again. With the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered, he's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. And a payoff pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. He makes the grab, one away. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter, and a tough one at that. Andrew Vaughn now. One out, base is empty. A big swing and a miss. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Came inside with that two-strike fastball bad. nicely and just bunched him up on no. the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around no. on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Aye. That clips the corner. One ball, two strikes. Hard hit left side. Zips it to first. And they take care of Robert for the out. And that is the inning. But we're all tied up thanks to this solo homer. All even at one apiece. Major League Baseball is on the show. Here on the south side, new inning getting started. And now for the Twins, Trevor Larnick. Larnick. Left-hand batter waits. And another ball. Swings through that one for strike two. Next pitch is outside. Kyle Farmer next to bat for Minnesota. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And that's ball four. Well, that could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and leadoff batters on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off the shoulder. Making a move at first. Entering is the pinch runner, Byron Buxton. Go ahead, run on base. Now, Kyle Farmer. The pitch gets the bunt down the right side. They apply the tag, and the runner moves up to second. Now batting the first baseman, Carlos Santana. And now it's the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. Listen, there's absolutely no reason to pitch to this guy right here. You nibble, you see if he'll expand his zone, but don't give him anything to hit. Rudder breaks for third. In the air, left field. Coming on is Pham to make the play. Two away. And next is the designated hitter, Brooks Lee. 
As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. The one-two. Popped in the air. Left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that's the third out. So it's no runs on no hits, no errors, and one left on. To the bottom of inning number four now. All tied 1-1. So coming into the game now on defense, Byron Buxton. He'll be out in left field. Byron Gavin Sheets will hit next. For the right side. The right fielder. Gavin Sheets. Why to kick the pitch? Swing and a miss. And it's one, one and two. He's two pitching three. well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Throw on to He's Santana. Up. Lead off hitter retired in the fourth. If you want to be a great defense, you have to deliver consistently. It doesn't matter how many highlight reel plays you make if you can't execute the small stuff, just like we saw. Here's Aloy Jimenez. Next That's offering is downstairs. Lennon Sosa to bat next. And yeah, the righty deals. Swing and a miss struck him out. Next to hit, Lennon Sosa. The second baseman. Lennon. Two down, nobody on. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Right hander kicks deals. That misses. Ball two. finds its way through so a two out knock keeps the inning alive and puts the go ahead run on base not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play that's a team at bat right there nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep Young steps to the plate for the White Sox. And a pitch. Eight, two. If you're a base runner, you got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Next pitch, not two close, three. up high. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Nicky Lopez in the on deck circle for the White Sox. This one backs the left center on its way, and that one's out of here. A massive home run. His 17th of the year. And the White Sox jump out in front. It's 3-1. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boo. We knew it wasn't coming back. to hit spit on some other pitches in this at bat was very patient and it paid off
Here's the shortstop at the play. Nicky Lopez. Fastball for a strike. Next That's offering ball, upstairs. Good now eye right there. Two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Payoff pitch. That's ripped to right down the line. That's a base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Man, at first, here's Corey Lee. So now one and two. Two strikes. Two outs. Three. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Third out, and that ends the frame. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now a 3-1 ball game. Back at guaranteed rate right field. Play. Ready now for the, the fifth right inning. Field. And now for the Twins, now. Matt Walmer. Walmer. And here it comes. There's a swing and a drive. This one's got a chance. Makes the catch up against the wall. Man, Boog, I love watching an outfielder take on the wall to make that play. And it's a lot easier to watch from up here because that can be painful in the end. You know the wall's coming up on you quickly, so you have to maintain concentration and able to make that catch and hold on to it after contact. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Oh. In time for the second out. Good job to clean it up after the drop third strike. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. And that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put wood on. So it's their last chance in this one. And now it's Christian Vasquez. Hey. On the corner for a strike. And it's one and two. This could end it. Hey. That's the ball game. 3-1 ball game, quick game. We were looking for a little bit more. It seemed at points the offenses were going to break out, but a total of four runs combined. Really good pitching and defense on both sides. Just a couple of key swings making all the difference. And your final 3-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.